I'm gonna show you guys how to get the siding off. It's not very complicated, but uh, so the first thing I'd, I start doing with is taking all the lights off, and uh, I gotta take this cover off the off the front window, um, and it's just held by some screws along the top, and then I gotta remove the brackets that help prop it open, and then I gotta remove the window. So I'll just uh, show you guys each step, and uh, you'll know how it's done. And, the, and uh, I'm not going to be too careful because I'm not reusing the siding, but uh, if you were going to, if you're taking the siding off to look at some water damage or something, obviously you'd be a little bit more gentle. But I'll, I'll try to be gentle if I uh, have the patience for this crap. This is how you get the lights off, really easy. Just pull the cover off. And uh, these ones have two of the quarter check headed screws that off and then you just gotta pull that off off there and then uh, yeah if you're gonna replace them I guess you just keep pulling this out if you can or you stick your wires there and mered it on the uh, yeah the, these are mered right behind here so but anyways I'm not reusing these so Done. Now I can get the siding off. And I'll just do the same to the other couple of lights on the side. I'm going to take off this uh, corner cap here so I can get access to, to remove these panels. Um, so you can see this black strip running all the way down here. I just got a, uh, there's one screw at the bottom here. I'm just going to pull that out and then, and then I'll, I'll rip it out. There we go. So if you come over here, you can see all, all these screws going through into the corner. And uh, I'm pretty, they're all so rusted. So that's got to be where a lot of the water comes in because also right at these corners is where they're all, the whole trailer's water stained at every corner on the inside. So, yeah, and they're all, they're so rusted. It's pretty bad. So right along here is just where all these screws are. There's a lot of them. There's about a screw every two and a half inches or so. So I got my uh, quarter inch hex bit, or socket whatever you want to call it there and i'll just uh, and they're not some of them are not going to come out uh because there's not much wood there well these ones are doing okay but around all the other windows on the trailer a lot of them weren't coming out just because the wood was so rotten had nothing to spin against to pull out and uh, there's a big bead of silicone there, so let's get my knife and I'm going to just score it, try to cut through it. And again, if you're going to be just taking this off to look at something, you want to be careful you don't scratch up your siding. Silicone's on there, good. I'm gonna try it. I think. Oh yeah, it's got some type of putty behind it. I think it's the same kind of putty they put behind the corner boards. It's really, I don't know what it is. It's really sticky though. There. 
Okay, so I'm just going to pop out all these screws, and uh, that shouldn't be here. And then I'll, because they're, they're fastened through this weather strip, so. This screw here are actually drywall screws, which are, they're, I think they're really high in carbon or whatever, so they don't stand up to water or moisture at all, they'll rust. And so they're, I don't know why you put that, why someone would have put that on the outside. In all the way around the outside of uh, the window. So I'll just have to make sure I cut that too. One more. So just along the top. And the sides. And uh, oh, I gotta get the gotta get those two drywall screws out. That someone thought was a good idea to use. All right, and uh, I've just been starting at the bottom. Uh, see if this one will come out. You can have somebody push from the inside too if you're, if you're not by yourself. Yeah, we got another screw here, it's not coming out. But. Yeah, and when you're taking them out, you just want to be careful you don't rack it too much. So the next thing you'd want to do after you removed your windows and lights is uh, they to finish, or I guess, so that when they put the siding on, they start at the bottom or at the top and work their way down. So obviously when you take it off, you have to start at the bottom and work your way off. And that's opposite of what you do in res residential construction. Um, so they uh, when they start, they put this up against the wall and they tack it and it has a little hook on it and it goes underneath and they uh, shoot uh, staples up through it to stop it from flapping out. So what you do is uh, pull those staples out carefully without mucking up your sign too much. But with this one, I went to look for them and there, there's nothing holding it. I haven't done anything to this side yet. Just, uh, I don't even know if they use galvanized staples. So they just, because uh, every staple I've seen on here holding the sign on is heavily rusted. Um, so then all you do is just pull it off and now there's going to be some hidden fasteners in here. I see a drywall screw right here. So I'm going to have to be pretty aggressive with this. Um, I'll try to... One right there. I'll try that screw. This drywall screw out. And let's see how that helps. One sheet. Totally, totally reuse that one again if I wanted. Um, so then, right down here, if you come and look right down here, right down a bit lower, you can see there's a staple right there, a staple on every stud. The one right here is just gone, and there's supposed to be one in there, but it's not there. So all you gotta do, so you gotta go. all you do is just uh, you just grab, get some uh, vice grips or something, needle those vice grips and hook on it, but all I've been doing is, is this, just to pop it out there. Obviously, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do this way if I wanted to reuse this, but I'm going to 
not going to treat the stuff nice when I'm not using it. So another uh, drywall screw. Just everywhere. I like to tuck tape to hold the wire in place. So I just pulled off all of it as much as I could. This uh, last piece here goes all the way up and wraps around uh, the p onto the onto the roof there and it's just caked in uh, some type of glue uh, to glue it to the to the roof um, so that's just gonna stay on there till I rip off the roof so uh, yeah that's how you you strip down a side it's not very very hard I mean if you're being careful and you're everything wasn't as rusted you could probably do it in uh, 20 minutes half an hour maybe so not not that big of a deal